hey, you know who loves being at home? Everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Bruins will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. They've got numbers. Center and feed. He scores! What a goal! They used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Bruins couldn't have asked for a better road start tonight. Well, this is the way to silence the crowd, and this is the best start that you can ask for. One minute into the game, and you're up one nothing, and now the home team has to climb back. Quick pass to McAvoy, and somehow he hangs on. Sends it out in front, picked off in front. Skinner's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Pasternak's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Saka's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Puck grab by Forbort. Moves it to Carlo. And he takes the dish. Puck picked up by Marchand. Moves it quickly over to Saka. Routine save made by Skinner. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of time left in this period. Boston's ahead, 1-0. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Feeds the puck to Bouchard. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that goes off the player. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. And he takes the feed. Looks to get the puck over to Carlo. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And a stick break set up. Up along the wing. Takes the puck at the point. And that's hooked away. Boston's got it in their own zone. Now he slides it up to Tube. Break away! Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight. And when you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. you got to find a way to get the puck to the net. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Bruins have taken a 1-0 lead. Coyles won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Denies him on the slapper! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Boston's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Off the draw, they take possession. Edmonton's looking to break out. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Here's a short pass to Tube. The Oilers have it now. Is in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Allmark's made an incredible save right there, and it's kind of status quo. He's had such a consistent all alone. Can't get that one to go. Well, it's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway, and then you get nothing in return, a missed opportunity. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Pass right back. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it out in front, and it turns off a twig in front of the net. Sends it in on the attack. Bank pass feed. Slides the puck to Parisi. Oh, look at this chance. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick feed to McLeod. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets out of with the paddle. Passes on over to McAvoy. 
Jane Jane. The shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Proverb's got the puck in his own zone. Passes over to Dreisaitl and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Bruins have it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Van Riemsdyk. Turned aside by Skinner. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. Knocked away with the stick by Saka. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Saka's got it along the wing. He scores! Big goal from David Pasternak! that know how to lead the charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. Boston's on a mission tonight. Now up by two here, still in the first. Well, they've really controlled the puck, and in fact, they've dominated throughout the first 20 minutes of the game, James. They've had their opponent chasing, and when they've chased, they put the puck to the net. They've had great shooting opportunities, and they've taken them. Tries to get the puck over to Marchand. He to the middle! What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. Great save from in tight. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And the puck's booted away. The Bruins will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Marchand. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. DeBrusque's moving the puck through his own zone. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. Quick pass to Shattenkirk. Here comes the call. The Oilers are being called for tripping. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. The Oilers win the defensive zone faceoff. Battle along the boards. Pasternak's got control of the puck in the corner. Oh, just a great heads up play by Kulak. Edmonton's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and end. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save! There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Don't forget to check out tonight's game Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Oilers win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Sends it over to DeBrusque. Slides the puck across to Coyle. The Bruins played along the wing. Great pass save. And this is a dialed in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play, they're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Nugent Hopkins wins possession in the defensive zone. Long lead pass into the open ice. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Nugent Hopkins moves it into the attacking end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Skinner. Ryan's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Saka's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Turn that chance aside. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Feeds it over to Ryan. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly what it takes to kill a penalty, and they did an excellent job. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. 
it takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Boston's now leading 3-0, and we're only in period number two. Well, they've had a commanding presence all game, and it's really been a game of keep away where they've dominated in terms of possession. They're finding ways to take it to the net, James. They're sharing the puck. They're doing all things well. You know that the coach is going to love this one. Handles it again. Quick pass to Coyle. And tries to make a diagonal pass to DeBrust. A chance in front. And that's deflected off someone in front. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Shuts him down with the paddle, what a stop. Allmark's been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James, but he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. Janmark's got it against the boards. Allmark's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. McDavid's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Taken by Nurse. McDavid's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Poked away in the defensive end. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Bruins will serve two minutes in the box. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Frederick's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And he can't hang on. Boston's got it in their own zone. And they get that puck down the ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. What a steal in his own end. Over the line they come. Off the tip and can't redirect it into the net. Denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Here's the shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Allmark's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in. He tracks. And he makes the save. White almost back on the ice. Moves it on over to Nugent Hopkins. In all alone. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do. And in the interim, he ran out of space. Takes the pass. Moves it to Hyman. Oh, and he gets it. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Now, wait a second here. I don't think this is going to count, James. The official waves it off right away. And got to wonder whether it was tipped or redirected off of the skate or whether there was a kicking motion. So two distinct things here. If you kick or make that move... of your foot towards the net it will be a no goal but if it's redirected that's fine nurse has got it in the offensive zone the bruins take possession in the defensive end they've got the defense out number talk about swing on the finish with that one he does the work to get to that position on the breakaway james and then the pressure is on you know you don't get these opportunities all the time a golden one it is the Bruins can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the 
offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Played big in the moment there. Allmark's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. McLeod's on the attack in the offensive zone. Hooked away by DeBrusk. Fantastic save! My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Cut into the crease. That's off target. The Oilers need to find an answer in this game. They're halfway through it. They haven't dictated pace. They've been back on there. Oh! Save. From the blue line, they take control of it. And that's knocked away by Geeky. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Grabbed along the boards by Shattenkirk. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Shattenkirk. Allmark's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. McLeod's lugging the puck. Gaining momentum up along the side. Shot! Just gets enough to keep it out. Feeds the puck to Saboral. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Puck grab by Kulak. The Oilers are across the line and into the offensive end. Big time stop. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. The Bruins played along the boards. Big time saving goal. to period number two and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation third period don't go anywhere the Oilers need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period third period underway here this has been a total squash to this point Cheryl 40 minutes in the books now played how do you view this one it's been terrific for 40 minutes of play, but you know the coach is going to be preaching that full 60 minutes to be consistent and see it right through. So they have to be defensively responsible, but when they can be on the puck, be hard on it. Pasternak's able to grab that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game, and he's looking for another. Sends it to the middle. And a shuts down a great scoring chance there. From the right side, takes the pass. Turns him away. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Bouchard. Sends a pass over. Nice poke check. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Slides it over with pace. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Omar 
Puck's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Passes ahead from the right side. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Dubé. And he takes the pass. And now he moves it. Here we go. Two on one. Sends it across. Scores off the rush and they finish it. Third period. 
Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Campbell. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Puck set across the blue line. Marchand's going to play it against the half wall. the play he does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot can't pull the trigger and that's intercepted by Campbell <laughs> coils won the draw here in the offensive zone and that ricochets on a twig in front Musa quickly over to Forbort Carlos got it in the defensive end. Dubé's got the puck. Right in the low stop. Denies it in close. Let's go. Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Bruins continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Pass to Kiki. The Oilers take it along the wall. There's a shot. Oh, there's a great stop by Omar. Again. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. Center and feed. And that's blocked in front. Slides the puck down low. Center and feed. And that's stopped. Well, a tough night getting even tougher in these final seconds as the fans letting them know this was Acceptable. Extra attack around to apply the pressure with the goaltender on the bench. Play was the dead penalty coming up. With a comfortable lead late in the game, the penalty likely doesn't matter, but you want to kill the first few seconds and the clock all at the same time. And this one's all over. Pasternak's hat trick leads the way en route to victory tonight. Yeah, he got himself in good position, didn't he? He's a pure goal. 